Hi, this is Lauren Allison with naturalindigestionrelief.com and I just wanted to do a brief video about uh, magnesium and constipation. Uh, we get this question a lot in the clinic and uh, people are always asking because that's one of the first things they hear of either from their uh, primary physician uh, about one of the natural ways to deal with constipation. Um, can it work? Yes, it can work. Uh, it takes a little while. Uh, it can take, you know, five, six hours or longer, sometimes faster. Um, and it can work, uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, it depends, you will see people who have, um, you know, either some scarring or fascial tissue in the abdomen, uh, and even though they'll take uh, magnesium, uh, it's not quite enough to push it along. What the magnesium is doing is uh, bringing more, more water into the intestines, helping with the motility, uh, particularly if you, you actually are deficient in magnesium, then it certainly would help um, you know, if you're more of a chronic fatigue sufferer uh, for the majority of your life, then it may, it may help you temporarily. It's, it's kind of an acute relief technique, um, but uh, probably won't help you, um, you know, daily. Uh, you know, I mean, you'd have to take it every single day. Um, but, of course, it wouldn't be because you were magnesium deficient. Uh, so it can work. Um, it's not quite as reliable as some of the other things that we do. Uh, or it isn't reliable, I should say, as, as such things as digestive enzymes and probiotics, uh, which we use uh, regularly um, in the clinic. So uh, it does work, it can work, but uh, digestive enzymes and probiotics are much more uh, productive in terms of long-term use to help you digest your food better as well. So that's a secondary benefit, whereas magnesium will not help you digest your food better other than it's helping you process it through the intestines. So uh, it is something that people use because it's been uh, promoted as such. Uh, it's one of the older techniques that we used to use for acute constipation. Um, we would prefer to use some you know, manual techniques if the person's severely constipated. Make sure they start taking digestive enzymes. Make sure they start taking probiotics. Teach them how to do some manual um, uh, movement of uh, the colon and uh, make sure that things are moving smoothly. Uh, we have a video on the site for that. It shows you how to do it yourself. So, uh, as a basic premise of whether it works or not, sure, it can work. Uh, primarily, people use it for acute or short term or something that's happening right this moment, not as a preventative. And so, uh, and the research on it is is some says it works, some says it doesn't work as well. I mean, clinically, we say yeah, it does work. Depends on the person. Um, and, uh, you know, there are various types of magnesium that, that work better than others. Some say citrate, uh, some say uh, different types of magnesium products. Uh, honestly, from what we've seen, probably citrate works the best. Uh, but before we would go to magnesium, we would go to digestive enzymes and probiotics absolutely 100% of the time. Make sure the person drinks enough water, make sure they're taking their digestive enzymes and, and probiotics. Drinking enough water for a person who's severely const, uh, constipated or has been the majority of life is usually not going to do it. You usually have to do digestive enzymes, probiotics, get them in for days or weeks, and then you start seeing more uh, of regular movements. Um, and, uh, you know, as long as there's not a more serious condition going on, which, of course, you would consult your uh, physician about to find that out. Um, but what we use is digestive enzymes and probiotics over magnesium, uh, we still use it occasionally in, in rare instances if the person may be, may be possibly magnesium deficient. Uh, but uh, So hopefully that helps about magnesium and constipation or does it actually work, I think was the question. And um, so yes, it can, but uh, those are the, the other things are what we go to first uh, because they seem to be much more broad reaching and effective over time and consistently effective. So hopefully that helps and uh, until the next uh, video, uh, to your better digestive health. This is Lauren Allison. Take care.